Well, in other news now, in a strike in Beirut, the Israeli military has killed the commander of Hezbollah's headquarters, Suhail Hussein Husseini. Now, according to the IDF, Husseini played a crucial role in weapon transfers between Iran and Hezbollah and was responsible for distributing the advanced weaponry among Hezbollah's units. He was also a member of the Jihad Council, which is Hezbollah's senior military leadership council. Now, late on Monday, two new strikes hit Beirut's southern suburbs after the Israeli military issued new calls for South Beirut residents to evacuate. Smoke could be seen rising from the suburbs. Several strikes hit the Lebanese capital's southern suburbs earlier in the evening. And in southern Lebanon, the Israeli military said it struck more than 120 Hezbollah targets within a 60-minute period as part of the extensive strikes, adding the targets belong to the group's elite uh, Radwan forces and other units. The idea said that it deployed a fourth division of the, uh, to southern Lebanon uh, for ground operations against the Hezbollah. Israeli strikes also hit coastal villages after the idea said it will expand its operations against the Hezbollah to Lebanon's coast south of the Al Alawi River. Uh, following the warning, fishermen in the city of Saida rushed to move their boats north of the river. Meanwhile, militant group Hezbollah said it targeted an Israeli military intelligence base near Tel Aviv on Monday. The Iran-backed group said it fired a salvo of rockets at the Gilad base in military intelligence unit 8200 on the outskirts of Tel Aviv. The Israeli military said sirens were sounded in central Israel after projectiles launched were found crossing from Lebanon into Israeli territory. Several projectiles were intercepted above the city, while the military said that others fell in open areas. The Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said he will not give up and will continue to fight as long as Israeli citizens do not return to their homes safely. The campaign must not be stopped prematurely. As long as the enemy threatens our existence and the peace of our country, we will continue to fight. As long as our hostages are in Gaza, we will continue to fight. We will not give up any of them. I will not give up. As long as our citizens do not return to their homes safely, we will continue to fight. In Gaza, the Israeli armed forces uh, struck with airstrikes and artillery on Monday. In addition to strikes, military activity and fighting on the ground could be seen in the devastated Palestinian enclave. In Yemen, Houthi said they fired two missiles at military targets in central Israel's Jaffa area on Monday. Houthi's military spokesperson, Yahya Saria, uh, called it the fifth phase of escalation. The announcement was made shortly after Israel said it intercepted a missile fired at central Israel from Yemen. The first operation targeted two military targets of the Israeli enemy in the occupied Jaffa area using two missiles. The first was a Palestine two-type missile which successfully reached its target and the second was a dual Fikr missile. The operation achieved its objectives successfully. The Israeli ambassador to the United Nations said the Israeli Defense Forces intercepted a ballistic missile launch from Yemen. He said Israel continues to fight on multiple fronts and promised Iran that there will be a response to its missile attack on the country. We continue to fight in multiple fronts. We are deploying all necessary capabilities against our enemies, both in defense and offense. And I can tell Iran and their proxies they should know we will decide when and where, but there will be a response. There will be a response. We will ensure that all those who seek to destroy us will pay the price for their actions. Iran said on Monday it will respond firmly to any Israeli attack on its soil, stressing that it did not want a wider war in the region. The Iranian Foreign Minister Syed Abbas uh, said the Islamic Republic is not afraid of war and will give a firm and appropriate response to any new action by Israel.
And our correspondent Jody Cohen sent us this report from Israel. So there were three sirens in central Israel on Monday, which was, of course, the anniversary of Hamas's October attack. Now, the day began with rocket fire from Gaza in the morning. The Israel Defense Forces said that these were intercepted and that they struck Hamas targets to thwart a planned much larger attack. In the afternoon, there was a ballistic missile fired from Yemen, which the IDF said was also intercepted, and five rockets were fired from Lebanon just before midnight. Now, Hezbollah claims that it hit the Glilot intelligence base, which is next to the Mossad headquarters, but the IDF said that some rockets were intercepted and some fell in open areas. There are no changes to the civilian guidelines in central Israel. Hezbollah launched around 190 rockets at Israel throughout Monday, and these were mostly at northern Israel, and restrictions are still in place there, with all border communities still evacuated. Now, on Tuesday, this is the anniversary of Hezbollah joining Hamas's 7th of October attack. Israel said that more than 10,000 rockets have been fired by Hezbollah since then and that Israel is targeting Hezbollah to enable its citizens to return to their homes. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.